Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I lost my chest. Oh. Today's video is just gonna be like a super chill little pack with me vlog type thing. I leave for my condo in Destin, Florida tomorrow morning at 8.15. Me and my boyfriend, my mom, and my mom's boyfriend are going on a little trip, midsummer trip. I'm really excited. It's gonna be so much fun and I'm so excited to spend the week with Leo. Right now I need to focus on packing because I leave tomorrow and I have nothing packed. If you guys have seen my previous pack with me's or travel vlogs where I talk about packing, you guys would know that I have a track record of being a horror horrible overpacker and I'm really going to try to limit that today seven days six nights two days of travel so I really don't need that much stuff but you guys will probably see me pack a suitcase that weighs 80 pounds I'm feeling really strange right now I don't know if it's my I don't know what it is it's probably me just being tired so I'm gonna head downstairs I got this pop it um, keychain at the Walgreens checkout and I'm not even mad about it I, everybody's making fun of me for it but I just want you to know that these things are so like addicting to play with let's go I am in my room now. Um, my energy drink is somewhere in here. Literally love this one. So I have my load of laundry here and I'm actually quickly just going to dump it out and fold it and put it away quick so that it's out of my way because my room is still kind of a little messy. And I don't want to add to that mess. I want to make packing as easy as possible. So we're just going to dump this out. Well, first of all, I changed my shirt because my, like, it wasn't working, okay? I just want to say I had a terrible dream last night. It wasn't even a dream. It was a full-on nightmare. Like, the type of nightmare you have as a kid and then run to your parents' room and, like, stand outside their door, like, contemplating life for a sec. I woke up and I was like, <gasps> What is that? I haven't had a nightmare since I was like eight. Like I have terrible dreams all the time, but this was a full on nightmare. I can't even like explain to you what it was. I don't know, I was in some foreign country and I woke up next to this dude and he was like the weirdest looking mother. Don't know who he was. Have never seen dude before in my life. I was trying to speak to him and he was not speaking English and I was like, where are we whatever and then all of a sudden weird stuff just kept happening and basically the dude was trying to kill me um the entire time we were like in a hotel and i remember looking out the window and there was a pool there's like a pool on the ground but it led to the ocean and there was just a bunch of dead bodies in there that's not all right what's going on i don't need to be having nightmares my life is already a nightmare as it is so at this current moment i'm contemplating which suitcase i want to bring because i have my cute suitcase but my cute suitcase is actually large very very large like the size of me type large like I could fit in my suitcase type large and I'm not that small of a bit if I bring that I'm most likely going to overpack but my other suitcase is almost too small my camera's about to die in comparison to me I'm 5'8 almost Obviously, I'm sitting down, but like, okay, if I actually fit in here, I'm not bringing the suitcase because that is getting to be an extreme problem. Like I said, I'm pretty tall. Oh, no. That's embarrassing. I got one of the most innovative little travel packing hack things ever. I got these bags off of Amazon. They're basically little packing bags and you can, you know, organize your clothes within your suitcase and it comes with all different size ones. There's like a makeup bag, there's a dirty laundry bag, and then I actually packed this one last night just because I wanted to like do it. Look at so I got my bras in there for the trip, Calvin sports bra, and then I have a smaller bag with all of my 
underwear. If you want me to be completely honest with you, I want to make one of those TikToks where you like record all of the clothes like piling up on. I want to do it. <laughs> This is the towel. Now I know what you're thinking, Bailey, that doesn't look like a towel. That looks very small and very compact and very thin. Yeah. This is it, if you guys are interested in it. I don't know if it's nice yet because I haven't opened it, but the reviews were good. Okay, so really the main purpose for this was the fact that it's cute. And I can sit on the beach on top of my cute towel. That was the main purchase purpose for the purchase. I don't like this. It's super thin, I think it's 100% cotton, but apparently these towels, although they're super thin and not like a normal towel, like whatever, apparently they're still super absorbent, super fast drying, and also just cute and lighter for packing. I don't really know if I like it though. It kind of feels like a blanket, like a very thin sheet. Okay, we'll worry about that later. These are the tank tops that I have picked out so far. I will be eliminating some, but I just wanted to show you guys my top selections at the moment. For some reason, I don't feel like I have any cute tops. Like, all of those tops were cute, but I don't have, like, I don't know, okay? I'm stressed out. I just grabbed, like, eight dresses, and I don't even wear dresses. I'm literally going to be gone for six days but see the thing is i change at least two times a day on a trip if i had to guess mostly mainly three times so if you know anything about math six times three is 27. Six, <laughs> what? no it's not six twelve it's 18. it's 18. it's 18 okay why did i get to say 27? Six, twelve, eighteen. Six, twelve, eighteen. Six isn't even a multiple of twenty-seven. The funny thing is that wasn't me being like sarcastic and funny. Like I genuinely just said twenty-seven because of. Ow. Speed round of what I have for my top selections right now. Okay, I'm gonna film this TikTok. Um, I just actually tore my room apart and haven't done anything actually productive in regards to packing. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use this bag for my pants and hopefully they all, pants, they're not pants, shorts and skirts and hopefully they all fit. tried to not pack that much for one of my last trips to Florida and I ended up not okay I still packed a lot but I didn't pack enough of the right things like I only brought like two pairs of like sweat shorts like comfy shorts and then I realized I don't just wear comfy shorts to bed I also wear them like all day when I'm not wearing the jean shorts because I don't want to wear jean shorts all day so I'll wear jean shorts when I go out and then once I get back to the house or the hotel or whatever I put comfy shorts on so this time I packed four of those it comes with these little straps so you can like secure everything in so nothing moves around which is really great and look at that that is so perfect I'm so happy I got these okay that took up half my suitcase this is gonna be fun okay I need to figure out what dresses to bring so I never showed you what dresses I picked out so I'll do a speed round showing you them this one is actually made out of like a towel material, so I actually have to bring this. I love it so much. So obviously I don't need this many dresses. And this feels like it's like 12 pounds. Oh shit. I genuinely wear like so many of them because if you go to like the beach during the day and then want to go to the pool a little bit later Swimsuits. 
perfect. Okay, these are the two sweatshirts I'm gonna bring. I'm bringing this crew neck that says thanks a bunch and then this collar daddy. I am unwell sweatshirt. They're both very lightweight and comfortable. Should I bring a smaller suitcase, you guys? Because at this rate, I'm not even filling up one of the sides with these new bags. I have this all black one, which is significantly smaller, and I hate black suitcases because when it's coming out on the baggage claim, you can't ever see what one is yours. Okay, so pants. Okay, see, these fit, and then I have my bras. But see, I don't want my bras to get smushed, but I also need to fit makeup bag and over... You know, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine with this. Okay, I'm gonna put suits up here so that I can set my makeup bag right here in between suits and my pants so my makeup doesn't get squished. And then fit these in there. I'm being so dramatic right now. Also, I don't really know if I'm gonna have a fit to wear with that. Wait, these are pissing me off. Ah! So I'm gonna bring these shoes. They're just like a nice pair of like platform sandals. I should be able to get these to fit in here. And then I'll probably just wear these Burks to the airport because I always wear those. And then my pink rubber Burks are at my mom's house right now and I'll grab those when I go over there for dinner in a minute. So this is the bag that I bring. It's from Victoria's Secret Pink, but I love it because it's like plastic on the inside. So if you spill something, you can just rinse it out, which has happened numerous times to me. And then I have a mouthwash, which I just bought another one because I didn't know I still had this, so. And then I have a mini micellar water um, makeup remover. And then I have this little squeezy tube that I filled up with my face wash. I'm just gonna bring my like mini size shampoo bottle. And then I have this It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And then I also have this mini hydrating styling cream by Moroccan Oil. And then I have a Moroccan Oil hair oil. And then I just have cotton rounds for taking my makeup off. Oh my God. Probably using like half of the bottle right now, but I actually can't run out of lotion. I'm gonna bring that much of the Nivea lotion that should be, nope, I'm filling it up. My mini Brazilian bum bum cream, just because it's small. So this doesn't really all fit. Okay you guys, honestly, I'm feeling like this video is done. I could record myself packing my, what's it called? Carry on, but all I put in there is my AirPods, my two cameras, my laptop, and then like my chargers and stuff. This is what the suitcase looks like. Again, it's not completely done because I still need... What the hell do I still need? Oh, my shoes and my makeup bag. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, mm, not sure why you're still watching. If you guys are feeling generous and you're not subscribed already, please do so. It's literally free. It really doesn't affect you, but it has a huge positive impact on me and my channel. And it would mean the world. I can't wait to go on my trip and vlog some of it for you guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.